Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Maths at Virtual School Victoria where we do a lot of maths in a little bit of time. Today's topic is about lines. Lines are very important in geometry in maths. What do you think of these wonderful patterns made with straight lines? I want you to think about a line. What is a line? Where do we see lines? How do we use lines? What are different types of lines? And how are lines and mathematics connected? I was very impressed with the ideas the class came up with today including uh, the lines they saw around their doors, uh, where they saw in their floorboards, on their Venetian or vertical blinds, on the train or tram track. So there was a lot of good thinking in today's class. Looking at the basic mathematical uh, properties of a line, the most basic unit is a point and where there is a line joining the two points it becomes a straight line. Sometimes uh, when you have something that has to be a bit straighter, straight and it extends beyond the point that's called a um, array but the line is this bit here. So that's uh, one and often with geometry you'll see the lines identified. So when you see AB, that is the line that is between A and B, and mathematicians show it like that. And here's the line that is between P and Q. Okay, and that is that line there. Now, let's find out about a little bit about the lines. What type of line would that be? Let's have a look fit it in. That is a horizontal line. It's on the same way that a horizon would be if you stood at the beach and looked over the sea. Uh, that's called the horizon. That's got a bit of a curve on it, but that's how you remember horizontal. This line is a vertical line. Think of a rocket straight up and down. Vertical line. This line is... The first word I thought of was slanted, but the mathematical word for it is oblique. These lines are intersecting. Here is our intersection at this point here. We see lines like this in a lot of places. These are parallel lines. And you re remember parallel, two L's in the word parallel, two lines. And these lines just run along like train lines or tram lines. These are perpendicular lines and that means you've got the horizontal line connected to the vertical line. So when they are at right angles to each other, that is a perpendicular line. This one is a curved line. I don't think these are strictly mathematical, but they're a lot of fun. This would be a zigzag. Notice the angles made in that line. And this is one continuous line. It's not two or three or four, which starts in the middle and ends up here. And that is called a spiral. What type of lines do you see here? Are they straight or are they curved? It was very hard for people in our class to decide. 
So we did this little test. We started with the um, horizontal axis and the vertical axis. And these are about a centimetre apart, but you can make them any shape you like. Now we're just going to add straight lines. Every line we add to this picture is a straight one. So we join the top one there to the first one there. Then we join the second one there to the second one there. And you can see that those lines are perfectly straight. We've joined the third one on the vertical line to the third one on the horizontal line. And as you can see, each straight line is still a straight line, but what we are creating is a curve. And here is our curved line, but it is an illusion. And you'll be able to create some of your own uh, straight line patterns soon. Now, points and lines are very important in angles. Here's the point. Here is a ray because it has an arrow. If it didn't have an arrow, it would be a line. So we start with the point. We go for two lines to a, an angle. And the only shape that we can make with a single line is the circle or the ellipse. Most people call that an oval. So next time we meet, we may talk about shapes. Uh, today we investigated the different types of lines, words that we use to describe lines. I'm not strictly sure that it's a parabola or a parabola, but um, we created um, an optical illusion with straight lines. We looked at lines in angles and next week we'll look more closely at lines in shapes. Thank you very much for your attention to detail. Uh, have a look online to find out the different patterns you can make with straight lines. Thank you.